What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise in this video here today. So it would appear that a scoop of mine from last weekend, uh, I think it was last weekend. Yeah, on Saturday when the Royal Rumble happened, I, I think it was last Saturday. Saturday or Sunday. Last Saturday, I put out a scoop related to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it would appear that that scoop has gotten some sort of confirmation it would appear from daniel rpk who has also come across it my issue at the time was that i was under the impression they had already shot the movie because of how it was presented to me but it looks like this is a legitimate project that's just actually in development and has not been shot at all whatsoever but this is the next chapter of what will come in this franchise so before i go any further i do want to circle back to an article from bloody disgusting two years ago because i think it's relevant to speculate on this so this article from 2022 when netflix put out their texas chainsaw film goes as follows it says yes the rumor is that netflix is looking to order up not just one but possibly even two texas chainsaw massacre sequels a rumor that bloody disgusting has not been able to confirm we have heard however that netflix has very much discussed the possibility of potential sequels to their texas chainsaw massacre movie all dependent on the film's performance. We checked with our sources and can confirm Netflix had most definitely discussed plans for sequels ahead of the release, performance pending. In other words, Netflix would gladly bring Leatherface back for more if enough people stream Texas Chainsaw Massacre this year. So here's the thing. This new film that's in development is called Texas Chainsaw Legacy. For those of you who remember my tweet from last weekend, it's the same title, same sort of information if you remember it. I'm certain someone out there took a screenshot of it too. However, Texas Chainsaw Legacy, the plot details indicate to me this has nothing to do with Netflix's last film. That doesn't mean that Netflix isn't involved, but I have doubts that it's Netflix doing this. I'm starting to think that is just going to be legendary and some other distributor but it could still be netflix time will tell but here's the drop on texas chainsaw legacy this is from daniel rpk texas chainsaw legacy takes us to oasis oaks a gated community nestled in rural texas amidst the meticulously manicured lawns and vigilant security patrols our protagonist family epitomizes suburban bliss however lurking just beyond the confines of this idyllic enclave lies an abandoned property home to the infamous leatherface and his macabre kin as chaos descends upon oasis oaks ordinary families are pitted against the savage sawyers in a harrowing battle for survival where the lines between good and evil blur in a chilling confrontation of familial horrors now to me, this sounds like a pretty intriguing story. The Sawyers versus a bunch of suburb, suburb snobs, I would imagine. From what I've also heard, rumored details even further, this Oasis Oaks town is filled with three-story houses. It has security guards patrolling in golf carts. And yeah, that, that's, that's really the biggest thing I was going to share about the town it sounds like it could be fun it's it sounds like we could be seeing something like a purge type of deal and when i say the purge i mean that original film by having these people who are ruthless killers the sawyers going into this area with these suburb snobs and you just have all chaos in, unfold between the haves and the have nots it's just a, i think that's what it comes off like we can see how this all comes together once we learn more about Texas Chainsaw Legacy. What do you guys think about this? Are you looking forward to it? Do you think it's going to be connected to this last film from Netflix? Or do you think Netflix is still involved and they're just decided to do a, another reboot of sorts that's not even going to be connected to the last film? Let me know all of that down below. Are you looking forward to it? Why or why not? Or are you just tired of Texas Chainsaw movies? What is your favorite Texas Chainsaw movie? Let me know all of that down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And I promise, yes, I'll start making longer videos. I'm just trying to let my voice recover still. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.